How to run SLN file in Visual Studio Code? If you're trying to work with a SLN file, which is typically associated with Microsoft Visual Studio, in Visual Studio Code, VS Code, there are a few things you need to know. First, .sln files are not natively supported in VS Code. These files are used by Visual Studio to manage solutions and projects, and they contain a lot of information that VS Code doesn't understand out of the box. When you try to open a SLN file directly in VS Code, you might see the file structure, but you won't have access to all the functionalities you would in Visual Studio. For example, features like Go to Definition won't work because VS Code doesn't know how to interpret the .sln file properly. So what can you do? One way to work around this is to add the folder containing your projects to the VS Code workspace. Here's how you can do it. Go to File, Add Folder to Workspace, and select the folder that contains your projects. This will allow you to explore the code base and use extensions like Modern Fortran, but it might take some time to load, especially if the workspace is large. To speed up the process, you can try tweaking some settings. For instance, you can set fortran.linter.initialize to false in the modern Fortran extension settings. This can help reduce the time it takes for the functionalities to become available. Another thing to note is that if you're using the new .slnx file format, which is a simpler XML-based format introduced in Visual Studio 2023, the process remains similar. However, .slnx files are still not natively supported in VS Code, so you'll need to follow the same steps. In summary, while you can't directly open and use a SLN file in VS Code, adding the project folder to your workspace is a good workaround to access your code and use various extensions effectively.